just installed a new fiber channel switch. The next thing that you do is to create zones so that you can allocate storage to your application. But zoning takes time because you have to write tens or hundreds of lines of configuration manually. How about I tell you that with just a single command, you can automatically create zones within seconds. It is a new feature on Cisco MDS switches called AutoZone as in automatic zoning. My name is Parish Gupta. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco and for the rest of this video, I'll explain you how AutoZone is different from a long-lived concept called default zoning, how exactly AutoZone works, some use cases and finally a demo on a live MDS switch. But before taking a deep dive into AutoZone, let's be very clear that AutoZone is not default zoning. Default zoning is like open zoning. That means any device can talk to any other device in a fabric. Initiators can talk to other initiators and targets can talk to other targets. This scheme leads to undesired side effects on end devices and gets extremely heavy on switch TCAM utilization. AutoZone on the other hand enables paths only between initiators and targets. In other words, paths among initiators and among targets are blocked. AutoZone uses a best practice scheme of single initiator and single target zoning which leads to fabric stability and optimum utilization of switch TCAM space. So do not confuse AutoZone with default zoning. Alright, let's understand how AutoZone works. Whenever a new device logs into a MDS switch, it is detected as an initiator or a target. Based upon its type, AutoZone does a couple of things. First, it creates a new zone. Then it adds the new device to that zone, adds the new zone to a zone set, and finally activates the zone set. This entire process is automated with no human intervention at all. This idea behind AutoZone is really simple yet powerful. Let's say there are already four targets and an initiator logs in, AutoZone will automatically create four new zones, each with the new initiator and the existing four targets. When another initiator logs in, four more zones will be created automatically. You have to execute AutoZone command just once when the switch is being provisioned for the very first time. AutoZone not only zones the existing devices, but also the devices that log into the switch in the future. For example, if one of the malfunctioned HPA is replaced with the new one having a different worldwide port name, AutoZone will add a new zone for this new worldwide port name. You don't have to do that. That is such a powerful feature because once provisioned, you do not have to log into the switch every time after making a trivial change. This technique of automatically creating zones can be of huge benefit for small or medium sized businesses. Mostly such organizations deploy a single fiber channel switch with 48 or even 96 ports for fabric and once deployed, the environments are rarely modified. Also such organizations lack dedicated resources to manage fiber channel fabrics. AutoZone can also benefit large enterprises who have standardized on a pod-like design with a rack full of compute, storage and networking resources and want the servers to have unrestricted access to the storage within the rack. The automatically created single initiator and single target zones by AutoZone can bring in huge time and effort savings. Alright, it's time for a demo. You are looking at a Cisco MDS 9132T running NXOS version 831 with minimal configuration. The Floggy database shows 8 devices and so does the FCNS database. Note that as of now we have 4 initiators and 4 targets logged into the switch. Let's first see how we create zones without using AutoZone and then later we'll compare it with AutoZone. I would first create a zone, add an initiator and a target to it. Then I add that zone to a zone set and finally activate the zone set to enable the traffic flow between the initiator and the target. To create second zone, it's the same sequence of events of creating a zone, adding initiator and target to it, add the zone to the zone set and activate again. That means for every zone, I have to manually write four lines of config. Now let's compare that to auto zone but before that, let's clean up the config. Deactivate the zone set delete the zone set and delete the zones. Just be sure that the switch has bare minimum config. Now let's type auto zone and hit enter. Give it a second. You can see that the switch is automatically creating zones. The name of the zones are constructed using the switch serial number and boom, that is all you need. 
as you can see all the zones have been created automatically within one or maybe two seconds. There are four initiators and four targets so overall we have 16 zones. Let's enable a port on the switch so that one more device can log in. Verify the ninth device from the Floggy and the FCNS database and looking at the zoning database we see that four more zones are created for the target each with four existing initiators. Again, all automatically. Let's see some of the other options with AutoZone. You can disable the feature and that means that new devices log into the switch will not be automatically zoned anymore. You can still use AutoZone, but if you want to update the zoning configuration of newly logged in devices, you would have to use the update option here. Use the delete option if you want to delete all the zones created by AutoZone previously. Be very careful with this option because this will impact traffic flow. Let's talk about the show option here. AutoZone by default creates single initiator and single target zone which may end up creating some extra zones. That should be fine in a single switch fiber channel fabric because you still need LAN masking. But let's say if you want to be very strict with zoning and want to create only that is absolutely required, show option is your friend. It builds the zoning configuration but does not apply it. You can copy the output, take it to a favorite text editor, refine the config as per your requirement and within no time you have your work done. Essentially, instead of you doing 80% of the work, AutoZone does 100% of the work and then you can get rid of that 20% of extra work to suit your environment. So that was a quick demo on AutoZone. Overall, if you are a medium or a small size business having single switch fiber channel fabric with less than 100 end devices or even a large enterprise using a pod like design, AutoZone is for you. As of NXOS version 831, AutoZone is available on MDS 9132T, MDS 9148T and MDS 9396T. So when you provision any of these switches next time, automate zoning using AutoZone. For more information, Refer the AutoZone section inside the Cisco MDS Fabric Configuration Guide. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.